Hey guys, it's me. As I promised, today is episode 20. So I've made it to 20, and I know what I'm going to talk about in 20. Um, music that's going to be playing in the background is the Repo the Genetic Opera soundtrack. So, and I'm doing that for a reason. Because number 20, I think probably the content of this blog, vlog, whatever, blog, blog, whatever. I feel like this should have been talked about, I don't know, earlier in the year, basically. So, eh, what can I say? Better late than never. So, vlog 20 is. My handy dandy. Probably should have been more prepared than this. Oh, I rearranged my DVDs too. Sorry. So, I got scared. I'm missing a DVD and it's in the DVD player. Anyway, so vlog 20 is the Repo the Genetic Opera vlog. This probably, that series should have been done months ago. But better late than never. No, I do not have the DVD case with me. Everything is all in my nice little neat binder. So, Repo the Genetic Opera. Ugh, what can I say about it? Um, oh, where to start? <laughs> Paris Hilton. Let's start there. Let's get that out of the way. Um, Paris Hilton is in it, as I've said before. Um, but bad stuff happens to her. So it's worth seeing, because you get to see bad things happen to Paris Hilton. So if you don't like Paris Hilton and you like seeing bad things happen to her, watch it. It's worth it. Um... This is one of those movies like Rocky Horror where you can't really describe it without like ruining the whole movie. So this is kind of tough. But I'm going to work through it. Okay. So we both the genetic opera. Uh, the music's really great, as I've been saying. As I said, it's playing. So you can hear the soundtrack. Um, so it's worth seeing. I've gotten so many people hooked on this movie. And it's just press holds in this movie. Um, it's worth it. It's it's worth seeing. It's worth giving it a shot, I should say. Um, a lot of people are really skeptical about it because it is gory. Paris Hilton is in it. And, you know, you can't really describe it because you just ruin the movie if you really describe it. So, it's definitely worth giving it a shot. Um, the characters are great. The story is great. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the DVD cover the DVD case to read the back like I did for Super Beasto. But it's really good. Um, look it up on IMDb if you want to learn more about it. That's really all I can say. Wikipedia, if it's on Wikipedia, I don't even know. Whew, excuse me, I'm tired. Um, so yeah. It's really, it's definitely worth giving you a shot. Um, it's, it's a good movie. It is gory, but there is two different types of gore in the movie. It's gore for the sake of gore, and then there's gore for the sake of humor. So if you're not a gore fan, watch with hesitation, because there is gore. It's not completely gory. It's just, it has its moments. So I would definitely suggest watching it. And... Um... It's... I can't stop raving about it, like, I've, you've seen my enthusiasm before, it's it's a great movie, I can watch this movie twice in a row and not get sick of it, I can listen to the soundtrack and not get sick of it, and it's just one of those movies that you really have to watch to actually understand what's going on, and it might be good to actually have a Rebo fan watching it with you if you have questions, they'll answer. I showed my friend Alyssa, who lives two doors down from me, and we were watching it, she was asking me questions, and I explained everything, and she felt so much as bad as I am. Um, but it's definitely one of those movies you have to watch and pay attention, and possibly watch a couple times to actually understand what's really going on. It's like Rocky Horror in the sense that it's indescribable, it's getting cult status, like, it wasn't, it was released in very, very, very select theaters, 
wasn't released nationwide. Um, it, it's actually very comparable to Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror started off as a stage show. Um, and then t got turned into a movie. It flopped in the theaters. And it got shown at midnight in the 70s and just became so popular because the word of mouth and everyone just started coming and dressing up. There's going to be a part in the song that I paused because it's amazing. But, um... Keeping that in mind, like, Repo, it was not released in many theaters. It was straight to DVD. It was released on DVD, and it's got this huge following behind it. So many people love it. There are, they do show it at midnight. And, you know, people, it's like Rocky Horror. People go dress up and watch the movies, watch the movie and interact. And there's people in front of the screen, actually it out in front of you so it's really cool and it's really like Rocky Horror in that respect and I'm gonna be pausing in like two seconds so one part. um oh here it is alright just needed a moment of appreciation for that part um Guy singing is actually one of the creators of the movie, um, stage play, and all that. Um, it's a pretty significant character. Um, one of the, uh, the other creators in it, but he only has like a two second role, and it's fine because it's an awesome scene. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, I just. It's one of those movies where it's really indescribable. El Super B, so I can just go on and on about it. You know, you can describe it, but Repo, it's harder. You just, you really need to see it to actually be consumed and, like, understand and just know where I'm coming from with this. Like, I would probably end up being the same way if and when I do a Rocky Horror one. And even the movie Forbidden Zone that I showed you, um, if not. If I didn't show you before. DVD is right here. Um, I think I showed you. Like, it's movies like that where it makes it really hard for me to tell you because I don't want to ruin it. So honestly, with Repo, if you've never seen Rocky Horror, with Rocky Horror, and I know like no one has probably seen the movie The Forbidden Zone. Honestly, it's one of those movies where you need to watch with an open mind. Just completely just don't think about anything don't overanalyze it if you overanalyze it you're defeating the purpose of the film mm -hmm. so really just go out rent the movie repo for right now <laughs> rent it watch it on on demand if you have comcast on demand or something like that because i know it's i'm pretty sure it's still available if not Go to Blockbuster, rent it, find it online for free if you have to. That's how I first started watching the movie. I watched the first hour of it, and it's about an hour and a half. So I watched the majority of the movie and was sold. And went out, like, two days later and spent money on it. And spent money on two versions of the soundtracks. I've given this movie so much of my cash. And honestly, it is so worth it. It is amazing. Um... Was Paris Hilton singing again. Honestly, watch it. I'm almost out of time. It's almost nine minutes long. Just talking about repo. It's awesome. So, vlog 20 is over. It's very hard to speak about this one. But, um, watch this. Go out, rent it, buy it, do whatever. Just give it a try. And I will put this movie down your throats if I have to. Um, if you do watch it, let me know. Uh, leave me comments, tell me what you think. I want to know your feedback, because it's really... I've had positive feedback so far with this, so watch it, let me know. And I will see you guys in 21. Wow, 21. So, yeah. Bye, guys.